Now I'm going to show you how to cut a circle to make an eye or just how to cut a circle. So there's a couple ways you can do it. One is you can take a marker of some kind and draw a circle. So you could draw a circle. This I like to, when I'm using, um, doing fabric stuff, I like to use a disappearing ink fabric marker. This is by a, a company called Dritz. It's, they're from Japan. These markers are kind of expensive. They're like five or six dollars. So always put the cap on when you're done. You don't want to dry out your fancy marker. So one way is to draw a circle and then cut out your circle. Um, so one of my tricks for cutting, cutting a circle is to, as you're cutting, turn your fabric. So I like to, as I'm cutting, turn your fabric. One thing that works really well is having nice sharp scissors. So everyone has in their sewing kits um, the scissors in your the scissors in your sewing kit here. These are really nice and sharp. Um, hot tip about these scissors to open them: you go like this, and you turn like this. So try not to use these for paper. Try to use these only for fabric, okay? Because if you use them for paper, they're not going to be as sharp anymore. You want them to be really sharp. The fabric scissors need to be extra sharp. So if, because if you were to just use like whatever paper scissors that they just don't cut as well, like this is like not cutting. So the trick is, is to have a pair of scissors that's for fabric only. Sometimes I'll even take a marker and write on here somewhere like fabric only. So that way nobody tries to use your nice sharp scissors to cut their paper or cardboard or whatever. Because that is rude. These are sharp or fabric only. Okay? So that's how to cut a circle. Number one. You probably also know this trick about how to cut a circle, which is if you fold it in half, this is like the heart trick. You fold it in half and then you can cut a cir like a half circle. Some people like this trick. That made it really more like an oval, but you could do that to make an eye. Another trick I like is um, I like to wing it. So what I usually do is I cut a, a rectangle or a square that's about as big as I want my shape to be. So if I'm going to make an eye, I could have it be a circle, so or I could have it be like an almond shape, but again, I just like to kind of eyeball it and just turn my fabric slowly while I'm cutting. And I didn't do the best shape there, see it's a little wobbly over there. So if you don't like something, just keep going until it's the shape that you want. Okay? So there's there's a circle. Okay? Now say I want to do an almond shape eye, like a shape that ours is. So for that, again, I kind of like to cut a rectangle that it's a little bit bigger than the size I want. And again, we could draw the shape with a marker if we want, oops, if we want it, you know, say, kind of like an almond shape. And then you could do that. The problem is if you use a marker that's like a Sharpie or something to draw your shape, is I don't really like to see the marker on, on it. So if you're going to do that, you might want to draw it a little bit bigger than you want it to be in real life. And then when you cut it, cut on the inside of your marker line. So that way you don't have the marker like showing on your project. Just because it doesn't look that good. I mean, I guess it kind of looks like eyeliner or something. But now this, this is really kind of smaller than I wanted it to be. I want it to be a little bit bigger. So in that case, I'm going to do a new one. So this is what I like to do. I'll just show you my the way I do it. So the way I do it, again, is eyeballing. I just like to turn it while I cut and then turn it while I cut. And if that's too big, you can just, again, cut it till it's the size you want. Just keep kind of shaving it off. You know what I mean? 
So let's say that's the size I want for my eyeball. Then you can take whatever color you want your um, iris, the colored part of our eyeballs to be, and then go ahead and cut out that. You know, and again, you know, you can just cut it to be whatever size you want. Like so. And then if you want a pupil, you could cut out a little pupil. Or if you want it to be bigger, go ahead and cut a bigger one. So one of my tricks about cutting felt is when you cut something, try not to cut it right from the middle. Like if you're going to cut a circle, try not to cut it from the middle of your fabric. Cut it from the edge of your fabric. That way, you know, that way you have a lot of fabric left over to do other stuff with it. So I'm just going to use this little bit to, and that way I have all this other fabric left to use somewhere else on the project or in a different project. So that's my tricks. Those are my tricks. Um, if you want to do like anime kind of eyes, um, you could, you know, or maybe you want your eyeballs like looking in some weird direction. You could like make two different eyeballs. You can, you can make it however you want. But sometimes people like to do, you know, little crescent moon shapes. You can like, you know, really make this, make it be whatever you like. Um, sometimes people like to do that little kind of, like it looks, looks like there's, uh, what's it called, like kind of a highlight thing going on or whatever. You can make these be however you want. Um, and that's how to do it. Um, yeah, so you could like, sometimes people will just like cut these tiny little shapes. The thing about doing tiny, tiny, tiny shapes is that then you have to sew on a little tiny, tiny shape. It's not that hard, but um, you know, it just takes some time, practice, and dedication. But you are, you've got grit, you can do it. Um, any case, that is how to cut and make an eye. So once you do that, I like to kind of like layer whatever pieces you want um, to be your eye. And then you can sew it on, sew it together. Or if you have fancy fabric glue, you can do fabric glue. But sewing, not sewing it will look really nice. Okie dokie, there's your eyeballs.